One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. We all have a past, but is your future bright? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine to verse 11, New King James Version. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine and verse 10 is what I nickname God's laundry list of sin. It is a listing of the dirty deeds that mankind has done and is doing today. We as Christians have been in at least one of the categories of sin mentioned by the Apostle Paul. This is the dark past from which we come. However, we celebrate because of the declaration made by God's word in verse 11 that says we were washed, sanctified and justified. The layman's way of saying this is that we have had our sins taken from us, elected as God's own, which is to be set apart and declared righteous in God's eyes. God has given us a new start. So our past is gone now. It is called being born again and a new creation in Christ Jesus. John chapter three, verse three, 2 Corinthians chapter five, verse 17. We are no longer headed for the death penalty that our sins caused us to deserve. Romans chapter three, verse 23, Romans chapter six, verse 23. We have been saved by Christ through God's grace. Ephesians chapter two, verse five. This gives us the bright future of eternal life and a home in heaven. John chapter three, verse 16, John chapter 14, verse one and verse two. Hell is a place of darkness, weeping and gnashing of teeth due to the tremendous suffering there that we have been kept from. Luke chapter 13, verse 28. Instead, we will be headed for a future where there is nothing but joy forevermore. Revelation chapter 21, verse four. Also, all praise, honor and glory belong to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.